All right, hi Natalia, this is a review of using particles to create spines on a cactus. And of course, uh, this is this is a, a review for Natalia, but anybody can watch this, okay? I'm using Blender and I'm using particle systems to instance all these all these uh, needles across the the cactus here, okay? So I've got a piece of geometry here, and that piece of geometry is going to get spread out across this this model of a cactus. And the particle system's already been applied. I just want to start off with some attributes within the particle menu. Okay, I, I closed all the menus here. All I want you to do first is expand this emission menu and just increase the number of spines. That's all. Okay, next I want to mention that you can't really you can't really do any rotation on on these instanced spines until you check a box up here on the top that says advanced okay i don't think rotation is any kind of advanced move but for some reason you gotta you gotta check advanced if you want to do some rotation so once i check advanced you'll notice uh, a couple extra menus pop up velocity and rotation and if i open up and expand the rotation menu by randomizing the rotation it's going to look like each one of these needles will have like three or four of them and that's because there's I increased the number so high that there's doubles and triples and then when I randomize the rotation it looks like multi-pronged spines okay so that's exercise one I think that's a good review on a couple attributes inside the particle system menu Let's quickly take a look at exercise number two. All right, exercise number two is really, really similar. I've already got a model of a cactus and I already have a particle system set up. The spines on this cactus looks a little bit different. Okay, it looks a little bit different. It's multi-pronged. And you know, there's different types of spines on different types of cacti. If you're wondering how I'm framing selected, you could either use the decimal point on your numeric keypad. Unfortunately, I'm on a MacBook, so I don't have a numeric keypad on my keyboard, but I do have this view menu and I'll choose frame selected to help frame up and center my orbit for whatever is selected. However, it's kind of annoying to me to have to click on view and then choose frame selected. So what I've done is I've right clicked over frame selected and I choose, uh, let me just remove it. I right click and I choose add to quick favorites and the quick favorites menu is easily accessible by hitting the letter Q. For example, I can, I can add almost anything to that quick favorites menu, right? Like let's say I wanna, uh, Let's say I want to add a, a build modifier, right click, add to quick favorites. Now when I hit Q, I can quickly choose build. And then when I hit play, there's an animation of this cactus just appearing face by face. Okay. Anyway, just want to give a quick demonstration of using the quick favorites menu. Let's jump into the, the real exercise here, which is reviewing some of these particle uh, attributes. All right, so there's an icon here. We nicknamed this the chicken foot icon. And if I go into the render menu, you'll see there's a scale attribute. And the first thing I want to do is make these spines a little bigger. So I'll increase the scale. Okay, I'm just exaggerating a little bit. Of course, I can randomize the scale so not all of them look the exact same. And the main thing I want to uh, show in this exercise is how to put how to put these instanced geometries uh, along, along vertex points where I'm controlling where they show up. Right now it looks very, very random. If I open up the mission menu and increase the number, like it feels like I have no control over where they show up. So I'm gonna access a menu on this vertical list of icons called the vertex data menu. And there's a section called vertex groups. I'm hitting the plus sign. And I'll just call this uh, 
spines, okay? While I'm in edit mode, I am going to hold down option and just carefully select a whole entire loop. Okay, eventually I probably wanna choose more. Maybe, maybe I'll choose multiple loops. So I'm holding down shift and option. Okay, just a few of them. And then I make sure I click assign back in object mode and back over in the particles menu, I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. There's a, a sub menu called vertex groups with an attribute called density. And when I choose that spine vertex group that I just assigned, that controls, that gives me a lot of control over where these instances appear. Okay, let's make them a little smaller. So I'll go back to the scale attribute and it's easier to see that they are in the right formation. Okay, very, very strange. There's one final thing I need to show. It doesn't look like some of these spines are on the vertex point, and that's because, that's because uh, it's emitting from faces. All I have to do is switch to emit from vertices. Okay, and that gives me some more control over where those spines appear. All right, please, Please practice exercises one and two, just reviewing some of these attributes. And um, the third exercise, once you guys are ready, come back to the video. The third exercise has a piece of geometry. There are, there's a model of a flower and a spine. Okay, let me rename this spine in the outliner. There's a flower, a spine. Maybe I'll call it a needle. How about that? Okay, needle. And then I've got this cactus model that doesn't even have a particle system on it. Okay, I'm gonna go pretty quickly here. Check it out. I'm making two particle systems. I used a plus sign over here and I hit it twice. The first particle system, I'll call it needles particles. You know what, I'm gonna change this. Instead of calling it needles particles, I'm gonna call it needles hair. And I'll explain why in a moment. And then let me call this one flowers hair. All right, when you create a particle system, by default, it's set on something called emitter. And when I hit spacebar, you'll see all these particles get emitted from the geometry. Let me rewind with shift left arrow. Instead of emitting particles, let's start with needles first. I'm gonna choose hair. And, and look at how it just put, puts a bunch of like straight hair sticking out. That's way too many hairs, I'll lower the number. Okay, maybe 94 is good enough for now. And I'm gonna scroll all the way down to a, a section called render. I wanna render these as an object instead of a path of hair. And then the object I wanna instance, okay? Instance is another word for duplicate. The object I wanna instance is gonna be the needles. Boom, now I got some needles and you guys remember where the scale attribute is. You guys remember where uh, rotation is. You gotta check advanced and then you can activate the rotation menu and randomize the rotation a little bit. Okay, uh, now that was for needles. So I have a second particle system called flowers. Flowers should probably only appear like near the top of the cactus where it gets the most sun. So I'm switching over to edit mode, hit the number one, hit hitting alt or option Z for the see-through mode. And I'm just gonna select a bunch of vertices on top. I'm assigning this to a new vertex group called flowers. And what I'm doing, what I'm doing when I'm creating a vertex group near the top of the cactus for is so that I can control flowers to only be instanced in this area of the model. Okay, back in object mode, hitting Alt Z or option Z again, back in particles tab, Make sure I choose flowers. I'm gonna switch from emitter to hair because if I hit spacebar right now, you'll see that I'm emitting particles out of this cactus. I don't want to do that. I want hair. And then instead of hair, let's lower this down to maybe like just 20 flowers. Instead of emitting hair as a path, I'm gonna choose to emit as an object. And the object I wanna duplicate or instance is a flower. Okay, they're gonna be really small right now. All right, 
right there's the scale attribute okay these flowers got a lot bigger it looks like they're kind of like underneath the surface here I'm gonna I'm gonna exaggerate the scale so you guys can see there is a flower there it's just underneath the surface of the cactus I got to get them to kind of appear a little bit higher up so what I'll do is I'll select this flower model this is kind of like the the main flower here and I'm gonna hit tab I'll select all the vertex points and I'm gonna hit G Y and when I hit GY I'll just raise it a little bit and you can see that by me moving these vertex points it's going to change the position of all the flowers on the cactus okay now it's looking like it's above the surface these flowers need to appear just at the top of the cactus so that means defining well I already defined the vertex group and now I need to apply the vertex group to the density Boom, now there's flowers just around the, scattered around the top. Okay, guys, that, that's a really important lesson about how to, how to instance geometry on something starting from scratch when there's not, even, there's not even any particle systems. Exercise one and two was just, you know, I, I dropped you guys into an existing project that where you just got to practice adjusting some attributes. Then exercise three, started over from the very beginning where where you had to practice putting the particle systems on yourself. So uh, practicing exercises one, two, and three several times a day is going to help you get really comfortable with using particle systems when you're instancing geometry for hair. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. Natalia, I hope that was a good review.